Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective, and today we have something from Yubico. If you do not know Yubico, they make the YubiKey, which is one of the best security keys that is available on the market. In fact, they're so good I bought one uh, quite a while ago, and it's my daily driver. Um, if you want to see more information about this, I'll leave a link up in the corner there so you can go check out this key because it's fantastic. Great build quality, reasonably priced, and it works with so much stuff. Like the, the support that they have around this key is what really makes it stand out. There are more secured products that have built-in uh, technologies, but in terms of just the overall package, it's pretty clear uh, that Yubico is really leading the way. So they have sent me this envelope. I've got a pretty good idea of what is inside of it. Uh, just a full disclosure that this was sent to me at no cost. I did not purchase uh, these particular products and I am a part of their affiliate program. So if you are looking to get one of these keys, I'll leave a link down in the description. And if you purchase through that link, it actually does help support the channel. So I do appreciate that. Let's go ahead and open this up and uh, see what we have inside. So it says enclosed peace of mind. And you know what? I actually agree with that statement. Uh, let's go ahead and cut that Mylar sticker and see what is hiding in there. There we go. So inside here, we have a few things uh, waiting for us, which is really, really cool. Or we do have their new YubiKey uh, 5CI, and it's a really cool little device because it's dual headed. As you can see, it has a connector for all of your Lightning Apple products. And thanks to a recent iOS update, more of this uh, sort of technology is supported. And then we've also got USB Type-C on the bottom, which is becoming uh, more and more of a standard, which is really, really great. And then uh, they've also included a YubiKey 5 NFC, which is my preferred key. If you're looking for a way to get started in, that is certainly a great choice. Legacy support, near-field communications, work with your phone, um, really, really cool. So we'll just go ahead and reach in here and there is uh, just a little uh, piece of information about 1Password, which is great. And let's see what else we've got hiding in here. Ooh, they sent me some skins. <laughs> All right, that's very, very cool. So by the looks of it, one of these is for that. One, yep, one is for that. That's very cool. So you got some urban camouflage, some cool green, and very uh, matrixy looking stuff. So that is very cool. Uh, thanks to YubiKey for sending that. I've already featured this product on the channel and I've talked about that already. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy that is uh, particularly unique. Let's go ahead and flip this over. So this is primarily made for you Apple users out there. I do have some Apple products still left over from when I was part of that ecosystem. Unfortunately, I don't think that this will be supported by them just because they're too old. It's just an iPhone 5 and then I think the first generation of the iPad Air. However, I do have some machines, uh, particularly my Surface Book 2, that do support that uh, USB Type-C. So I'll certainly be able to test that out. And I'm also really curious to see how this is going to wear with these exposed ends. I think that will be particularly interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this and we're going to see what it can do. All right, so let's go ahead and take the 5CI and get it out of its package and set this bad boy up. Now, the one thing that is unfortunate, and maybe this will come in a later version um, when they've got more room for all the technology, is you don't have NFC with this device. But then again, if you've got USB uh, Type-C and you've got Lightning, chances are pretty good you're covered. Um, if you're using a device that isn't supported by that, then just simply choose a different YubiKey. Um, that's one of the nice things about their product line is that if one key doesn't work for your situation, then you'll find one that does. So the YubiKey is nice and small. It is incredibly well built as pretty much all of their other products have. Uh, 
putting some pressure on it doesn't seem to do uh, too much. So hopefully that will uh, survive all right. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. We do have an indicator light on the side, which is nice. Let's go ahead and set this up and see what the process uh, looks and feels like. All right, so I'm gonna go and tell it to add a security key. We're gonna choose Bluetooth or security key. Got the security key. We've inserted it. We're gonna tell it that it's okay. And I'm guessing we touched the side of this big guy. Yep, wow, that's fast. And there you go, the key has been added. And just to show that it works, I'm gonna go ahead and open up a private tab. And I'm gonna to go to my Gmail. It's now asking for me to touch the key. And there you go. I gotta say, the one thing that I absolutely love about the 5CI is just how fast that is. Um, I don't know if they've done something to drastically improve it, but my uh, standard uh, key here, um, you know, it's quick, but that's really quick. Uh, I'm hoping that they might be able to get this design in all of their future models because I think that's going to be um, a really noticeable and tangible upgrade. So if you need one of these keys that's got USB Type-C or Lightning for your iOS devices, uh, this is an easy recommendation. But then again, all of the YubiKey stuff is easily recommended. Um, it's just well built. It works with everything that you need it to work with. It's an easy choice to make. At any rate, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy this sort of content and would like to see more, I'm going to encourage you to do the big four. Please like the video, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so the next time that I get the opportunity to feature one of these security keys on the channel, you'll be the first to know about it. So thank you so much, and I will see you next time.